What's up guys, qj 3 Austin here, and welcome back to part 12 of Let's Play Dark Void. This is the finale. Jesus Christ, we are actually fighting a dragon. It's the dweller on the threshold. They call it the dweller, but look, look at it. It's literally a dragon. Oh my god, we've stumbled into the world of fantasy. So what you want to do is aim for its... Aim for its purple slash pink spot, whatever it is, on his chest. Whoa. And whoa. When he fires those missiles, get out of the way. What I like to do when I'm taking a lot of damage is just fly around in a circle, basically. Whoa, he's gonna fire another one, isn't he? No. Well, he's firing another one. We just need to shoot the purple thing on his chest. It's on the move! I can see them. Oh yeah, boost here, because he's literally gonna fly right at you and try to ram you. So fly out of the way. When he starts to kind of glow like a yellow orange color, that's when you know he's about to charge at you. So get out of the way then. And when it says B, wait, go up close and wait till it's actually colored in. And then there'll be a little quick time event. Come on. And with that, one of its eyes is taken out. It's landing. Yes, we know. You don't have to do a play-by-play, -play, Ava. Also, it shoots at you with the machine gun. But just, just shoot his chest. And again, really sorry about my list. But shoot its chest. That's really all you have to focus on. Whoa. That was close. Alright. There we go. Now he's still gonna try to ram us. So just kind of fly around in circles. He's gonna... In his second time going through this, he's gonna try to charge you multiple times in a row. So just keep flying around in a circle. And now that it says B, we go up to it and take out its other eye. Yeah! 
There we go. And with that, we have beaten the game. Only some cutscenes left and the credits, but we've beaten the game. Others are coming. It's not time yet. Claire, look out! Saber! No! You evil motherfucker. Slave! You are charged to serve! It is all you have ever been. It's just as the Imperator said. Only the key can pass. Here. It's the divide. It sent me down. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna make it. Well, please. Sit. On the other side. Do you know what the Imperator told me? She said it was you. You I came to save. All along. There's only one way. To close this. I'm not going to make it back. Ava. Ava, I can't. Please, concentrate. Here with me now. There isn't much time. Three months later, London. She did what she had to do. There's nothing you could have done. work to be done okay Samuel L. Jackson had to make that joke one last time congratulations your radar has been upgraded it will now show the location of all collectibles don't really care up until the point where I go for the achievements so anyway uh, that was dark void that was the game um I really hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, there's definitely room for them to make a sequel. There's no reason that they couldn't. I mean, yes, Ava died, and yeah, I mean, yeah, they could make a sequel. I mean, the threat is not over yet. There's still, there's still the fight between the humans and the Watchers. There's still things to happen. And they could probably pull a Resident Evil and give new characters in the next one.
and then have them meet up later into the franchise, just like Resident Evil. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's see, what's next? Oh, yeah, um, here is the announcement of Let's Play number nine. Um, it's gonna be a shorter game, um, not nearly as long as this. Um, it's gonna be, it, it's a sequel to a game that I did previously. Let's Play number nine will be... Doritos Crash Course 2. And if you know what Doritos Crash Course the series is, then you know it's a multiplayer game. It's a multiplayer game that can be played single player, but I'm going to try to get some of my friends to guest star in it, like um The Killing Viper, Special Water. I'm going to try to get them I'm going to ask them to see if they want to guest star. And see if they can. Cooper didn't make it. He didn't. What's that, Ava? Oh, I love this part of the credits. It literally... It takes the main theme of the game and makes it 8-bit. It sounds like a Mega Man theme. Like, listen closely. It's, it's the main theme of the game, made into 8-bit, and it sounds like a Mega Man theme. You know, at first, because I... When I was watching the credits for my first time when I was going through this, um... I didn't know that... Like, I didn't know that this was going to be the theme of the game made into 8-bit, and I literally thought that it was... Like, it, I literally thought they were playing a Mega Man theme. Since both are made by Capcom, I just thought that... I thought that they were, like, making, like, a, a... Throwing in a cameo, if that makes sense, you know? That's what I thought they were doing. So, as I was saying, um... Doritos Crash Course 2 is the next game that we are gonna be doing, and... I'm gonna try to get a couple of my friends to guest star in it, but... If I can't, or if they're not available, then, um, I will do it myself, though I'd rather not. It would, it'd be a lot more fun to have a couple friends in here and, you know, having it a lot more rowdy. Because that, that's the fun kind of let's play, you know? When you have a whole bunch of people and they're talking... And then a Tem talks, and they start the act. I think this is the actual theme of the game. So, but before we start Doritos Crash Course Two, um, I have I have a couple, or I have I, not a couple. I have a few videos I'm gonna come out with in between them, like I usually do, and. Uh, a, a couple of them, I think you may be happy to see. It, it's... I really don't want to spoil it. This is going to be, like, really... This is going to be, like, a really cool thing. But I hope that... I hope that you'll appreciate what I'm going to do. And that's pretty much all I have to say, really. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything that's else to say. Game. Oh yeah, and um, on a couple other things too. First off, I didn't know until I looked it up earlier today. Apparently, Nikola Tesla, Nikola Tesla is act was actually a real person. I had no idea playing this game. He was actually a real scientist during the um, pretty much the first half of the 1900s. So right right around the time of this game, he was actually a real person. I had no idea. So that that was really cool when I found that out. And also the guy who composed the music for this game. I think his name is Bear McCreary. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 
Uh, he composed the music for this game, and he also did the theme for um, the Walking Dead TV show. God, you know, I really hate this expander right now. I'm really sorry if all my words are getting butchered right now, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, my it's blocking my tongue from hitting the upper roof of my mouth, and so I can't pronounce words the right way. But yeah, so the guy who composed the music for this did uh, The Walking Dead. I think he also did the show Battlestar Galactica, but I never watched that show. I just know that he did the theme for that. Anyways, that's the end of the credits. As soon as it goes back to the main menu. Alright. Well, that was Dark Void. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next few videos that are kind of more random videos, not Let's Play videos. And if you're just watching my Let's Plays, then I will see you in Doritos Crash Course 2. So until then, peace out.